Shalom and welcome to another episode of Living Supernaturally. We thank you for joining in with us so that we could work together, we could look at God's word together and know what he wants us to to understand. We have been looking at a series of come which are the invitations of Jesus that we read in the Bible. We're going to look at a fresh invitation of come which is come and see. John 1 verses 38 to 39 Then Jesus turned and seeing them following said to them What do you see? They said to him Rabbi where are you staying? He said to them Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. As we read this first chapter of John, we see an invitation from Jesus and how that impacted the lives of the disciples and how that even matters for us today. We find a special invitation. And let's just look at the background of this. There are two of John's, John the Baptist's disciples who are hearing him bear the record of Jesus being the Lamb of God, the long-awaited Messiah. And these two leave John and follow after Jesus. Curious and really wanting to know about him, they ask where he lives. In verse 39 that we see, he issues that most wonderful invitation and says, come and see. It's a simple invite that just turns the lives of these people upside down. When it, it, what was consistent to that culture at that point of time is the invitation was to spend time, maybe eat together, have a drink together, fellowship with one another, or also may stay back at the home of the person and just continue talking. And we see in verse 39 that these disciples went and spent the rest of the day with him. Following that, we see Andrew, one of his disciples who followed Jesus that day, goes back to his brother Peter and says about how he spent his day and he says he has found the Messiah. This just meant that the time he spent with Jesus, uh, Andrew experienced him in a really tangible way. Come and see is what Christ bids each person to do to come to him, to watch him, to experience him, not just as a fan, but as a follower, not as an admirer, but as a true disciple. Come and see is the invitation that Andrew and John received from Jesus. And this is offered same for you and for me. Jesus doesn't doesn't force himself on us But when we take a step forward to follow, to respond to that invitation, He is the one who builds His intimacy. He he ensures that He builds that fellowship and relationship with, with us. Do you desire to come and see and enjoy the intimacy with Christ? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you God for the way that you call us for an intimate, one-on-one, personal relationship with you. Thank you when we respond to that call. You are in it all the way. You ensure that you give all of yourself to us. We pray, Master, that every day would be a time that we build that relationship with you. Thank you, Lord, for your invitation to just come to you. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.